In this video, we will cover how to take a search strategy created in Ovid Medline and translate it into CINAHL. This video assumes you have already developed a comprehensive search strategy in Medline, so if you need help getting your search started, you can contact a librarian at kellogg at dal.ca. Also, while this video will focus on translating your search into CINAHL, it could be useful if you're using any of the EBSCO databases, such as PsycInfo. When translating your search, it's important to have a table with all of your databases included so you can record your translated terms in one place, so be sure to set that up in advance. Once you have created your table, you can begin working on translating your search, and each time you translate a term from your search, be sure to include it in the table. For the purpose of this video, our research question is, in patients with osteoarthritis, is yoga an effective treatment for reducing pain? Our main concepts are osteoarthritis, yoga, and pain. Here we have a comprehensive search strategy in Medline format, which includes a combination of keywords that are searched in the title, abstract, or author-supplied keywords of the database's records, as noted by the .ti, .ab, .kf after the term, and subject headings, as noted by the EXP before a term, if it has been exploded, then a slash, or just a slash after the term, if it has not been exploded. In line 3, there is a keyword phrase. In Medline, you do not need to put keyword phrases in quotations, but in other databases, it's a good idea to put keyword phrases in quotes, so you can be sure the database will interpret it correctly. While the search strategy is shown here, you can also find the detailed search strategy in the script found in the description below. We want our search in CINAHL to resemble the same format as much as possible, except we want it to have the correct field commands, so CINAHL will run the search properly. Let's go to CINAHL using our Dalhousie Libraries Access, which you can find a link to in the description below or by searching on the Databases tab of the library's search bar. From here, let's start with line one of our Medline search and find our first subject heading. In CINAHL, subject headings are called CINAHL subject headings, whereas in PsycInfo, they are called APA thesaurus of psychological index terms in the same EBSCO interface. We can find them in the top left corner of the home screen. In CINAHL, click CINAHL subject headings, then in the search box type in osteoarthritis and click search. Click the correct term, osteoarthritis, to be taken into the full record. Here we see that there are terms found below osteoarthritis that are all relevant. So as we did with our Medline search, we are going to click the checkbox to explode. Then, just to be certain this is the term we want, click the small icon in the scope note column to review the definition for this term. Once we are satisfied that this is the correct term for the search, we click search database on the right side of the screen to search for this first term. Remember to copy the term to add it to the translation table. Moving on to the first keyword for this concept, we will clear the search box on the results screen by clicking clear and type in osteoarthritis. In the Medline search, we are looking for our keyword in the title, abstract, and author-supplied keyword fields. In CINAHL, we don't have a field for author-supplied keywords or keywords in general, and using the all text command can bring in too many irrelevant results. Therefore, we will search our keywords just in the title and abstract fields, along with having our subject heading, which will be sufficient. To translate our keyword to search in the title or abstract fields in CINAHL, enter open parenthesis capital T-I space osteoarthritis or capital AB osteoarthritis closed parenthesis. We will not select anything from the drop down menu as we have already specified where the keyword should appear in the record. Then we click search and once again record this term in the translation table. For line three, our keyword phrase, we will use the same technique we just did for the previous search, except this time the phrase should have double quotations around it to ensure it runs correctly. Therefore, our keyword search will be open parenthesis, capital T-I, space, double quotes, degenerative arthritis, double quotes, or capital A-B, space, double quotes, degenerative arthritis, double quotes, closing parenthesis. From here, we will click search history to start combining search lines. Click the check boxes beside lines 1, 2, and 3, then click search with or. We have now translated the first four lines of the Medline search into CINAHL. Returning to our search, let's repeat the process with the subject heading for yoga. Click Clear beside the search box, then click CINAHL Subject Headings. 
Now search yoga in the search box and click the term in the results. We see here that CINAHL offers the option to explode our term to include the term yoga pose. If we search this term as explode, we will pull this term into our search. But you may be wondering if we should do this when we didn't explode the term in Medline. Medline didn't give the option to include narrower terms for yoga, but CINAHL does. And this term is highly relevant to the topic. Therefore, we should go ahead and translate this term to explode in CINAHL. But whether or not you do this depends on your own topic. From here, let's click the checkbox to explode and double check the scope note to make sure the definition is appropriate. Once you're certain this is the appropriate term, click search database and copy it into the translation table. On the results screen, we will once again click clear to empty the search box, then add a keyword for yoga and once again use the same field commands to search this term in the title and abstract fields, which is open parenthesis capital TI space yoga or capital AB space yoga closing parenthesis, then click search. And from here, click the check boxes beside lines five and six, then click search with or. We have now translated the first seven lines of the Medline search into CINAHL. Here we see that I have jumped ahead and repeated the same process for our pain concept. In line eight, pain is an exploded CINAHL subject heading because it made sense to keep it exploded after reviewing the CINAHL subject heading record. Pain is also shown as a keyword with the appropriate field commands, and we have kept the small asterisks on the end of the word as CINAHL can also interpret these commands that account for differences in word endings. In line 10, the CINAHL subject heading and keyword for pain have been combined using search with OR. Now we can click the check boxes beside lines 4, 7, and 10, then click combine with AND. We have successfully translated the search from Medline into CINAHL. And now it's a good idea to double check the translation table to make sure all of the terms are included. If you would like more information on using CINAHL, feel free to check out the videos in the description below, along with our other videos on translating searches to Embase and the Cochrane Library. You can also contact us for assistance with your literature searching by email at kellogg.dal.ca. Finally, Dalhousie Libraries has a helpful subject guide where you will find lots of helpful information and tools to help you with your knowledge synthesis projects, including how to properly document your search results, manage your references, and resources for other steps of the review process. You can find a link to this guide in the description below. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie Libraries, check out the links in the description below.